All right, today we're going to do a little bit of a different segment. I actually picked up quite a few games yesterday, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a pickup video. Kind of zoom in here and we'll... So we picked up uh, 10 NES games, uh, first of which is uh, Blade of Steel. Blades of Steel, pardon me, hockey game, a lot of fun. Had played this one since I was a kid about 20 years ago. And then there's uh, Ski or Die. Uh, there's actually, uh, there's Skate or Die and then Skate or Die 2 and then Ski or Die. I actually didn't know there was a Ski or Die. It's a very fun game. Zanuck, I think this is probably the best pickup out of all these games. Maybe next to Gunbird 2, but we'll get to that. This is a shoot 'em up It's uh, definitely a very fun game. We'll have to do a video of that. And then there's uh, the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon. That's kind of like a beat-em-up. It's, it's okay. Not too bad. And then here's one of the unlicensed games. It's uh, MiG-29 Soviet Fighter. I, I'd never heard of it before. And then uh, as we scroll over here, there's a Raid on Bungling Bay. It's okay. It's, uh, it's kind of like a Choplifter if you've ever played that game. And that MiG-29 game, it's uh, very similar to Afterburner. Here's just a, a standard pool game called Side Pocket by Data East. It's fun for what it is, pretty simple. There's uh, Jurassic Park. It's very similar to the Super Nintendo game, but just, you know, scaled down, not as colorful or bright graphics, but definitely still fun. Here's kind of a Mario clone called uh, Mystery Quest. Just a standard platformer. And then the last uh, NES game was uh, Terminator 2. And it's not very similar to the arcade game. It's actually, you go around, running around, trying to shoot all the bad guys. It loosely follows uh, the second movie. We picked up some uh, Sega Master System games for pretty cheap. Uh, World Grand Prix played it. It's kind of like pole position for Atari 7800 if you ever played that. Or the arcade version for that matter. And there's uh, Global Defense. These were all complete. That's pretty cool. These five uh, Sega Master System games. And Global Defense, uh, that's uh, very similar to Missile Command. But you're set in space, kind of like uh, the Ronald Reagan's uh, crazy anti-missile thing that he thought up back in the 80s. Star Wars that he was talking about. So you're, you're up in space and you're shooting down the intercontinental ballistic missiles. And there's great baseball. Nothing really to say about that. There's nothing great about it, that's for sure. Just mediocre title. The Monopoly. It's also pretty simple. Follows the board game. I mean, it's fun. If you want to play Monopoly by yourself, I guess. I don't know. Then Gangster Town. That's actually pretty cool. It's a light gun game. I actually have the light gun, so maybe we'll have to do a game, uh, gameplay video of that. It's actually uh, definitely worth the $3.99 I paid for it, actually. Got it on sale, and it was actually $2.99, so can't beat that. It's a light gun game, and it's set in the 1920s. Basically, just uh, you go into saloons and different hotels and things, shooting mobsters and stuff. Definitely a fun game. Then uh, for the PS2, picked up uh, Tech and Tag Tournament. Definitely a fun game. You guys have probably seen my uh, arcade uh, video of Tekken 3, and this is modeled it after Tekken 3 basically it's all the characters from the first three games and it's a tag tournament so you get two players instead of one so that's kinda of fun you can tag in and out and you only need one character to actually die though so that's kinda of cool I guess here's another Sega Master System game uh, great base basketball and it's like the baseball game it's pretty mediocre and then we've got some uh, Sega Genesis games. This one, I'm actually forgetting the name to it. It's, uh... Yeah, Last Battle, my bad. I haven't actually played that one yet. It's supposed to be fun. And after that, we have uh, Last Action Hero for the Sega Genesis. That's actually a pretty cool little platformer. Then the horrible, horrible port of Primal Rage. Thank God it was actually on sale. I only got that one for 99 cents. I got a game I've been looking for for a little while, Toxic Crusader. That's a fun game. I have to do a video of that again one of these days. Alright. And then, taking it to the end here, there's uh, Demons to Diamonds. That's uh, just an Arctar game. Use the paddle controllers. It's very similar to Breakout. It's a little closer, I think, to Arkanoid than Breakout, but definitely a fun game. 
And then uh, touchdown football for the Atari 7800. Not much to say about that. Pretty generic football game. A little bit of fun. But it's an Atari 7800. You don't see those games very often. So picked it up. Then a standard uh, baseball game. And that's it, really. I mean, very, very standard baseball game. Similar to the NES baseball games you probably played in the past. And last but certainly not least is uh, Gunbird 2. Sega Genesis game. Definitely a lot of fun. It's a shoot 'em up. Here's the back of it. Wowzers, gotta zoom out. A lot, a lot of fun. There we go. It says amazing characters, including Morgan from Darkstalkers. Attack methods include charge shot, vicinity attack, and the bomb. Seven stages of shooting action with uh, fran with branching storylines and multiple endings. So basically there's an arcade game, and this is straight from the arcade game. It'll tell you right from there. It's straight from the hit arcade game, Gunbird 2. It is the most intense test of coordination and skill. Action shooter features seven characters of a quest of magical ingredients to produce the all-purpose medicine. On a journey to see the wise medicine master, you are... Intercepted by a rowdy band of pirates. Now maneuver through insane levels of enemy fire to pick up power-ups and other weapons. Be the first to recover from the stolen bounty and unlock secrets of the Medicine Master. Alright, so that's basically it. Definitely going to have to do a gameplay video of uh, Tech and Tag and uh, Gunbird. I actually already had Tech and Tag, but the game was not working too well, so... Figured I'd go ahead and uh, pick up another another copy. Got the whole lot there for I think it was sixty one dollars, so it wasn't too bad. Figure uh, ten NES games, six Mega, uh, Sega Master System, pardon me, games, uh, four Sega Genesis games, PS2 game, Atari twenty six hundred game, two seventy eight hundred games, one Dreamcast. So that's a pretty good haul, really. So that's what sixteen twenty twenty five games. So. Really not too bad. Paid about $3 a game, really. So, Alright, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like I said, we'll do some one-credit games of some of these games. The ones that are worth playing. <laughs> and uh, that'll be about it. Please uh, like and subscribe, like I said before. And as always, happy gaming.